Welcome back to another episode of the Fully Charged Gardener. Thank you for tuning in again, I really do appreciate it. Ow! That was my line! And you're here for two seconds, you're already stealing my bit. It's not fair. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Fully Charged Gardener. Thank you very much for tuning in again, I really do appreciate it. So, as you can see today, I have a guest in this studio. And I'd like to introduce my daughter, Izzy, Izzy who's going to help me grow some potatoes this year. So, Wiggles, what is the most important message that's written on that bag? Grow your own. Grow your own. So the idea is that myself and Izzy are going to make a series of videos um, growing things from potatoes, courgettes, we're going to have to go with some courgettes, aren't we? Some parsnips. Uh, should we do some sweet peas? That, yeah, so the idea is, is um, we'll be doing some of the stuff in the gardens here because I'm lucky to live and work on site here and because this little madam isn't at school at the moment I have some free slave labour so I'm going to make the most of it. <laughs> um, and we'll also be growing some stuff in our garden, won't we? We've got a little patio and what we want to do is show that you don't need a big garden to grow stuff. So we're going to put some stuff sneakily in Mummy's flower bed, aren't we, as well? Yeah. yeah. And we'll grow some stuff in pots. So come along with us on this little journey, um, growing things. Now, the, the one thing that I want to say in this that's really important is that um, don't ever panic about growing things. Don't worry about things failing. Just have a go. Stick a seed in the ground, water it and watch it grow. Um, the worst thing that will happen is it won't grow, but at least you've had a go. That's really important, isn't it? And it's always good fun to watch things growing, isn't it? Yeah. What's your favourite thing to grow? Broad beans. broad beans. We can do some broad beans for sure. So these are sort of semi-instructional videos, but what I want to get across in this, and it's so important, is just how easy it is. It is so easy growing your own food. So I'm going to stop blabbing. Um, we're going to head off into the garden, we're going to try and record some audio there, aren't we? But it's properly windy outside, so what we might have to do is do some voiceovers. Or some, there's so many um, fantastic YouTube channels out there at the moment showing people how to grow stuff. Um, so what I'll perhaps do is put a few of them in the description, because you've got the likes of Charles Dowling who does the, the no dig stuff. His, his garden is absolutely incredible. I tend to stick to a more conventional practice of you know, digging over the soil, getting a nice fine tilt, I'm a bit old fashioned like that. So anyway, enough of me blabbing on, shall we go and have some fun? Yeah. Can I have my jacket back please now? Yes. Yes. Two minutes and she's already taken over my studio. Do you like that? Right, come on, let's go. Okay, so we've made it into the garden. These are our first early potatoes that we're going to be growing and they're called Lady Crystal. Now, one thing I just want to talk to you guys about quickly is what people refer to as chitting potatoes. Can you see how these have got little shoots on? Um, some people call it greening and it's basically where you just expose the young seed potatoes to some light and encourage them to start growing. Now, we basically ordered these spuds online because I just wanted to show again how easy it is. Um, you don't have to chit the potatoes. The idea being is that traditionally the thought is that it, it makes the gives the plant a head start basically. It's starting that growing process before you even put them in the ground. But honestly you don't have to do it. Again the important thing is that you just have a go. So that's just a brief introduction to what they call chitting. Okay, so this is where we are going to be planting our spuds. We have prepared the ground beforehand, um, we've dug it over and we've got a nice tilth again. Don't get too wrapped up in that, just do the best you can. Um, if you're just putting them in the flower bed, just dig over the ground lightly, maybe add a bit of compost if you've got it. If not, again, don't worry, um, just get a, a, a nice fluffy soil um, like this that's what we call a tilth where it's nice and fluffy um, and try and remove any large stones as well um, again Charles does it totally differently with his no dig method again I think I've mentioned I will put a link to his um, YouTube channel as well right then squid I think we need to get a string and mark out some straight lines what do you reckon let's go So 
what is he's doing here is spacing the potatoes out trowel width apart this is how i do potatoes um this is by no means um the way to do it this is just the way i do it you don't have to do it this way so what we do is we get our trowel so measure it with your trowel and then you put your potato there like that and then go in and a trowel's depth so you want to go in nice and deep it's a race go 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 i'm gonna win so I we're a, hit with all the rocks we're a good trowel's depth now now this bit is really important with the potato. You have to be so precise with how you plant them. You do it like this. And then what I do is again, we mark out with our, our trowel. And then what I do is I then take the soil from that hole, put it in that one. So, as you can see, Izzy's doing a fantastic job there. Well done, Squid. So, she is digging a hole, a trowel's depth. Now, you can use whatever you like to make this hole, a spade, a trowel. Some people use a, a bulb planter just to make the hole. Um, but anything really to make a hole. She's almost deep enough there. She's going to, perfect. Now, bring the camera down, you can see. Now what we've done is we've planted these in almost like a, a triangle pattern. So that spud is in, in the, the gap opposite. Um, traditionally, what people do is they plant um, potatoes in rows about two foot apart and make little, little ridges. Um, it's a technique that we call earthing up. And by earthing up, what we mean is that each of these little shoots is gonna create a stolon, so it'll be a long, little tendril type growth and then these tubers which is what a potato actually is will grow along those stolon so what we do is once we put the potato in the ground is we then earth up the potatoes so as these begin to grow they'll put a shoot up looking for the light and as it breaks through um, the new shoots which are tender by the way um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, potato crops are tender, so you tend to plant potatoes um, after the last frost, so around the time you'd be doing your bedding plants and things like that. Now, we do ours slightly earlier here because we can put a bit of fleece over the top to, to help protect them, and also earthing them up when you plant them will protect them as well, um, give them a bit of a thermal layer. Um, so, yeah, so depending on where you are in the country, you can plant your first earlies anywhere between sort of March and May I suppose um, again you can use fleece if you can get hold of it you can buy it online horticultural fleece um, so yeah earthing up that's what it is it's basically to encourage more side shoots as the plant comes up looking for light create more of those stolons um, which will in turn produce more tubers so you get more potatoes and that's always a good thing isn't it squid so we're gonna earth up now aren't we Right, let's get to it. Have you? Oh well, just sit down and tip it out. Right, so just trying to get a camera shot here to show you the idea of earthing up. You see how that bed's so much higher than this starting level? Um, and again, what I do is plant two rows to make a nice big fat top row and the idea being is that that will catch more moisture um, make it more efficient when we do get some rain and it seems that my assistant is having some technical difficulties with her welly boot right should we get to some ridging yeah. you know okay so just to show you quickly how I earth up the rows. I go about a foot or so away from the string line that we put and simply you just pull soil back over the bed with a nice little flick 
It is, isn't it? It's just scooping it and flicking it over the squid. That's a good descriptive word, just scooping it out. And it just raises that, the height of the soil. So it, you know, those plants are going to take longer to get out looking for the sunlight. And that will mean that they'll be putting out more of those stolons, those side shoots, which will grow more potatoes. And we will harvest these as new potatoes, which are nothing. So it's as simple as that. And again, which you can use whichever tool you like. You can use a fork, a rake, a hoe like this, a spade, whatever works for you. We do like to do things in nice neat rows, so don't we squiggle? Yeah. So, are you going to have a go squiggles? So what was it you just said to Daddy? Daddy's got a bit of... OCD? About what? I don't know. Straight lines and things being fussy? Yeah. I must admit I do a little bit when it comes to the gardening here. So there we are. We've created our nice flat top ridge across the top there. Now you will be able to ridge these up a couple more times as the green shoots start to appear coming out of the ground. Just ridge it up again and cover them up. And again, that will encourage more stolons and more potatoes. Now, this is one of Izzy's favorite bits. So do you want to run to the other end then, Squid? Off she goes. This side. You ready? Yeah, you pull it. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were too slow. Just move to the other side and we'll do the other side. No, you're already that end. Go on. Pull, 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 pull. No, no, no. Right, that's it. Potato planting. Done. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video because we had good fun making it, didn't we Squid? Yeah. There will be another potato video coming up maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Depends how someone gets on with their school work. Um, just to show that you don't need a big garden to grow potatoes so we will be showing another alternative. So there is a lot more to grow potatoes in terms of varieties. You get sort of first early, second early main crop variety of potatoes. There's sort of waxy type potatoes, fluffy type potatoes. There's so much to it. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description maybe to like the RHS website and you can get a little bit more information on potatoes there. But basically what we've shown you today is the basics dig a hole, put the potato in, water it and it will grow. It really is that simple. So we've shown how we do it here at Eurich, especially with the double base to, to help with the water retention. What are you up to there? Are you pinching your stickers? I don't know, I just back on. So, um, Izzy has an important message about the coronavirus and what we should all be doing with our hands. Washington. And for how long? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. And we really should be getting in there, shouldn't we? scrubbing away properly, washing our hands, and as more importantly, staying at home, isn't it? That's yeah. really important. So Izzy wanted to get those messages across, didn't you? Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, um, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, hang on, we forgot one thing. We put some links into where people can buy potatoes online, won't we? So there's, there's a couple of retailers that I know for sure are doing um, online deliveries and things like that. So we'll put those in the links as well, won't we? Yeah. Right. So is that everything? Did you remember everything? Yes. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Cheers.